Welcome to part two of the Del Sol build. We are getting super deep into this thing. As you guys seen on the last video, I got this quarter panel all taken care of. I got the other quarter panel taken care of. All the inside of the car is stripped. We're working on taking the back out here. But what I'm gonna start on is this engine bay. So shout out to Gil. He did an amazing job on this thing. They just had this engine out of here, oh, probably maybe a year ago, painted up this bay. Gil shot it, it's phenomenal, uh, I, I love it, dig it, but we are going to strip it down, do a full shaved bay. This thing is getting a brake line tuck, it's basically already got all the other tucks, it's got the S2000 down there, um, like I said, full brake line, so we'll be getting rid of all that, no more booster, we're going crazy, he's switching up the box on it, this engine just just stay tuned for all that that'll come in the future but this engine here it's pretty healthy uh, I got to do a couple seals on it it leaks but other than that this engine is ready to rock and roll we might change out the cams on it actually as well while we're out it's got some Tota cams in it and he's looking to put some skunk twos just to tone it down a little bit because she is rowdy but anyways I'm gonna dive into getting this engine pulled we are going to shave all the holes we don't need um, I'm gonna mark which ones I do need put a bolt in them and then get rid of the rest we're going to be deleting that plate we use that one we're going to be getting rid of that little guy down there we're going to be filling where the coolant lines used to go through just just cleaning this thing all up and then get it ready for primer um before i prime it i'm probably going to have to put this thing on like some dollies on like the mid frame um to roll it around because i'm pulling all the suspension the cross member all the lines, yeah, everything, like the wife said, just like her car. If you guys, we'll get a video built one of these days on her car. It'll be a super old video, but we've got enough content probably to put a video of her car together. We built her a gorgeous hatchback. Um, you can check it out on our Instagram, Facebook, it's all there. But beautiful, beautiful hatch. It was down to nothing. No glass, no bolts, no nothing. And it was good, it was good. So this is take two of Rochelle's hatch, basically, doing the exact same thing. But this one's for a good cause. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go rally this car this year with the owner of it and uh, just have a good old time with it. Let everybody see what we can do around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this, quit blabbing, that's two minutes worth of blabbing, blah, 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 and let's pull this engine. You can just go up with it. All right, y'all, it's been like half hour. I got Alex down here helping me. Lady went and got some pizza. But uh, this thing's about ready to come out. I've got this side suspension all tore apart, that side suspension all tore apart. Alex got the header off. Um, axles are out, obviously. I got the bolt out of the rear T-bracket there. All the wiring's disconnected up through here. I got the shifter and shift linkage all undone. Um, so basically the engine's ready to come. So we're gonna roll this thing over, pull this engine down. Nothing now. Okay. Uh, Alright. All right, y'all, so we just got this engine out. Thanks to Alex for all the help. That was huge help there. Um, but it's out, so now we can start prepping the bay and getting it right where we need it and how we want it and all that good stuff. Leaking oil out of the seal or transmission fluid. But it's out. That was pretty easy. I think we've got maybe an hour into getting this engine out. Um, all the suspension is off, so now we're gonna take the bolt out of the steering rack. It's right on the other side here. And then we'll drop the whole K-member out from underneath this thing. Get all the brake lines off, brake booster, fuel pressure regulator. Get everything off the bay, start getting it stripped. And then we can pull all the rear suspension off of it and it will be ready to prep the bay and paint this thing. So, getting real, real close here. Really excited. We got to get all this goop off back here. Get this all cleaned out. 360 degree paint job. Here we go. All 
Alright guys, so we're trucking along pretty good on this thing. I have got a lot of the holes that I'm going to be filling all grinded. Along here, we got all the brake lines pulled off. I've got most all these grinded. So I am going to finish these ones and then I am going to start welding this thing. So bear with us and we will get into welding. I even got all the back wall. Grinded all this. Oh, I forgot one. Look at that. There's one right there and a little guy right there. So I need to grind both those. But other than that, we got them all taken care of. Let's dive into this Del Sol. All right, so here we were working on the engine bay, shaving it, getting it all ready. As you guys can see, we got it all prepped here for the most part. We still got a little sanding to do, but I got all the holes filled. Filled this one here. We filled these here. Filled this guy here. So filled most all the holes. And then we gave it an external roll cage, as you guys can see. This was something Ray Ray really requested. He was like, man, I want this thing to have an external cage. So Frederick and I, we've spent the last eight hours or so, how or longer, Fabbing up his external cage. We had to give it a test. It approves. OSHA would even like this thing. It's got multiple, multiple safety features in it. Anyways, this is the rotisserie that we built. There ain't nothing fancy to it. As you guys can see, the car is clearly on its side. I'm not just holding the GoPro sideways. Uh, the reason we did this is because we are reshooting the whole bottom of the car. All fresh black, pulling all the trailing arms. I had to make it easy for me, you know what I mean? It just, just, that's what it is. Shout out to Frederick for making my contraption work. It was a little bit of a chore, but the good old two ton, she came right up, no problems guys. So we will catch y'all in the morning. It's like two, well shit, yeah. It's already morning, it's already morning. yeah, look at this. Tacos. 2.02, two. we've been at it all day. Another late night for us, so pretty excited. I, I like it. As you guys can see, nothing's touching. Everything clears. Now as long as it just don't fall down overnight, we'll be all right. We'll catch you all in the morning. So we are back. We have the gas tank out. Both of the trailing arms are out. All the lines are out, shifter, exhaust. Everything that was underneath the car is out. So the wife and I, it's Saturday. We have been at this thing all week. Uh, last since last Friday, non-stop on this car all week, just trying to bang this thing out. It, we got to get it done out of our hair. It's a real big job, real big project. Um, just got to get it done. So that's what we're working on. We're cruising right along. We're going to start stripping the whole bottom side of this thing, as you guys can see. 
I've been testing out a couple different wheels, seeing what kind of works, what doesn't work. We've got one here and one here. We've got our safety glasses. Wife's got hers. I'm gonna throw some earplugs in, music, bang this out. So let's get it stripped. Oh my goodness, I am beat. I fell down off the damn lift shelf yesterday, and then today we got this whole thing done. So the wife and I, we have been pressing on hard all day long. Scraping, wire wheeling, you name it, we've done it to the bottom of this car today. Um, we started really early this morning, busted it out, I think it's around 10 o'clock now. We finally got our last coat put on. Looks really good. This car is going to be crazy, crazy when it's done. This is something I've always wanted to do. We had the intention to do this to Rochelle's car. I had the wagon all apart, right hand drived it, never did this, so it's pretty neat to be able to do this to a Honda finally. Um, just awesome that people still enjoy doing this to their Hondas. Uh, so don't underestimate the Honda people out there. They're great, I'm telling you. Look what you can do with them. Put them on cradles and tip them over and paint the bottoms of them. So that's gonna be it for that right now. Um, I gotta figure out how to get this thing down now off this son of a gun. So tomorrow I can finish getting the bay prepped. As you guys can see, it's almost there. I've added a little bit of cleaning to it now, but that's all right. Once this stuff dries up, it'll sand off real easy. That's why I didn't really worry about taping up the whole car because it ain't even close to being done, so it makes no sense to waste all the product to cover it up when we can just sand it all off. So that's it. Bottom side of the car is covered. All looking good. So let's dive into the next thing. took us seven minutes all you beautiful people and it is back down on the ground can't even tell we painted anything under there now what was the point in that anyways cars down we got it on these tires here I'm actually going to get it off of the uh, cradle today all right, let's get into priming this thing all right so I just got it sealed as you guys can see some of my sealer is drying and some of it is still wet. Got all the inside, got all the bay, down around the feet. So this one's coming along really good. I had just a little bit of dirt in this, a whole lot less than I normally do. My sealer usually picks up a ton of dirt. Um, and for having to seal the whole thing, the trunk, the engine bay, the floor, it really didn't blow out much of any dirt. This is probably my biggest one. Yeah, that's like a little piece of hair or something there. So we'll get it out, but I'm gonna let all this dry, flash really good, and then come and sand it um, with some 600, and maybe even 800, 
and then we will be ready to go ahead and start painting this thing so just want to make sure everywhere's covered i got inside all my door jams all my wheel well opening got it all so it's sealed we will catch y'all on the painting side That's our first pass on the car. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Coming out way better than I thought. I had my stomach all in a knot, but it's coming out all right as long as my second pass covers everything that I'm hoping it does. Do you guys look and kind of see the light spots? Like that's a real good one. We've got just a few and that's where I burnt through and I know I should have sprayed down like a dark base coat on this thing or something first, but I'm really hoping my second will cover, and if it does, then I know my third will give me total total coverage of what I'm after. So uh, we got this thing all, all looking good. Like I said, a lot better than I was expecting. I did a test hood the other day, and I was like, whew, yikes. That came out pretty good, so I was happy with that, so I did the car. It be pretty nice. Everything's green. Even my pants, even my arm hairs, even my face, everything's green. So, I'm not complaining. It'll be all right. Look how much green's on my gun. Ugh. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. So, let's dive back into this. Like I said, I'm gonna do my second pass, my third pass, and then I will catch everyone on the clear coat. All right, told y'all I'd catch y'all on the clear coat. Hey, we're getting ready to clear coat it. I have one complete pass, followed by a second complete pass, followed by an effect coat, followed by a third complete pass, followed by an effect coat. And that's how I was able to achieve total darkness or coverage on this. Um, so we turned off all the booth lights, we came in here with a flashlight, double, triple, quadruple checked everything. Everything is covered on this thing. Super happy with it. So I just stat gunned it for the last time. I'm gonna make up some clear coat, adjust my gun out, make sure it's right where I want it. And if I feel good with it, we're gonna go ahead and start clearing this thing. So let's dive into it. y'all so i just got my first pass literally done Woo! better work we did it all in one shot engine bay interior trunk all the exterior this thing is looking amazing i'm super 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 happy with it Woo! anyways i'm gonna let this tack up and then we are gonna go ahead and continue with our next and our next and our next and our next and i'm gonna do three total coats maybe four coats let it dry Cut it, clear it again, two or three coats, see what it gives us for color, but let's dive back into it. Just 
Check this color out, y'all. The lights on in the booth just don't do justice for it. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. Look at the colors in that thing. Just absolutely incredible. Hey, you see the box on the light? Oh yeah, all the little speckles on the lighter on it. It came <laughs> out just gorgeous, y'all. Y'all, I'm just beyond excited on this thing. Um, I don't think I've ever been this happy on one. I think Ray's gonna love it. Look at these colors. Just incredible color combination on this thing. All right, y'all, that's the final coat. Um, like I said, I'm gonna flow coat this thing out, so we're gonna let all these sit for a couple days. I'll work on the parts, but we'll catch y'all on the flow coat. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoy it. We'll catch y'all on the flow coat.